important to take things like gas prices into consideration when deciding if being a commuter student or living on campus is right for you. With food, rides, entertainment, and games, Southeast Texans are ready for fun. <laughs> the event guest speaker, Belacia Wallace, used her experience with breaking the glass ceiling to inspire everyone in the room. According to Rain, the nation's largest anti-sexual violence organization, 13% of all students will experience rape or sexual assault throughout their graduate or undergraduate experience. Lamar University has officially started its holiday season with its Cardinal Light kickoff event. Although Grace had full control over the writing process, it was her mom and dad that gave her constant love and support to get the job done. Southeast Texans are creating new ways for members of their own community to get involved. An interactive art museum, which is the first of its kind in the area, is one of those ways. LUTV News reporter Alexis Miller sat down with Councilman at Large A.J. Turner to talk about the many unique themes the new Southeast Texas Museum provides. Lamar University Theater is opening their fall season with the book club play. It was written by Karen Zacharias and directed by LU student Ashley Gallen. The book club play is described as a hit comedy where laughter and literature collide. For the first time in Southeast Texas local news, a debate between five mayoral candidates was broadcast for the city to see. There's never been anything like this in Beaumont where it's been advertised on a main channel for an hour. So. We knew how important this election was going to be. We haven't had a new mayor in Beaumont in quite some time. So we wanted to kind of be the differentiator in the market and, you know, be the place that people can turn to to ask questions. A production of this size takes an approach that requires everyone. It's a pretty massive setup. So we have everyone from news, production, sales, marketing, everyone at the station is kind of involved in it. Um, you kind of need a, a big team to kind of put something like this together. So when we say hand, all hands on deck, it's literally everyone in the stations are kind of involved in the project. KBMT's production managers worked with Lamar Theater's team to bring the debate stage to life. We had a pre-production and talked about their lighting needs and stuff. And we hung it's all university lighting and stuff. So students and I hung the wash and the colors on the curtain and all. KBMT's obtainment of this equipment came from their need to cover hurricanes remotely. We wanted to make sure we have a mobile setup to where at a moment's notice we can go to uh, a different facility and set up to, to be able to broadcast in case our station goes down again. We got flooded back in Imelda, right? Uh, so it's actually kind of fortuitous that we got that because now we can do these events like this um, where we can just go elsewhere and do live broadcasts from anywhere we want uh, with the full control room system. With the lights set and cameras in place, it was time to start the debate. Hannah Spikes, LUTV News, Beaumont. Animals are commonly used in different forms of therapeutic healing. Most people would associate this form of therapy with dogs. However, this Rose City organization takes a slightly different approach. I had the opportunity to witness this positive effect that this organization brings to its clients. This Southeast Texas organization is offering specific care to those who may need a different approach to occupational therapy. Stable Spirit is a nonprofit. We use horses to do mental, physical, and emotional health work with children and families. We have our hippotherapy, uh, which is what you saw a lot of today. Uh, that is where we partner with a pediatric physical speech and occupational therapy company. And so their clients are out here every Wednesday, all day long on Wednesdays, and they're riding the horse as part of their physical speech and occupational therapies. Horses' ability to mirror people's emotions are what makes these gentle giants ready for the job. Horses have what we call an innate ability. Horses know our thoughts, feelings, emotions, and so they basically respond to that, and they are there. That is one of their purposes, is to help humans, basically, to help ourselves. In 2014, Logan Archer, who has cerebral palsy in his father, learns the true benefits of what stable spirits can provide. It helps me mentally, physically, emotionally, just everything. I mean, I can have the worst, absolute worst day. Come out here and get on the horse and everything, everything that's going wrong is just, it's like erased. I don't even think. I was real skeptical at first. I thought it was just something fun for them to do. And so I'm not against that. So we, we tried that out after it rode the first time. Uh, he's typically spastic and real stiff. And we were able to just pour him into his chair because he was wore out after like a 20 minute session. And, uh, so I'm a firm believer in it now. 
it, it works. It, it works well. Hannah Spikes, LUTV News, Rose City.